Today I'm going to talk about the new features in Jetty Studio. Um, the new features in Jetty Studio are very powerful and they're very cool. So let's get started. First we're going to go to Tools, go to Transmitter Wizard. Here we have Transmitter Backup, we have View Backups, we have Recover from the Transmitter, Synchronize Log Files, Transmitter Update, and the Lua App Manager. So first off, we're going to start off with the transmitter backup, which uh, does exactly what it sounds like. It allows you to back up your transmitter. Um, it has defaults for custom, standard, and minimal. Uh, custom allows you to choose whichever files you want to back up. Standard has a standard set of files that get backed up, and minimal is a minimal backup of just the basics that you would need to back up your transmitter. Once you click Next, you can name the backup file. Um, you can type in a description for the backup file. Uh, or if you want to, you can save the backup file as a zip file instead of saving it to the internal database within the application. But we're going to do a, a save to the internal database. Um, <clears throat> over here, you can see the comment, the contents of the backup that you're going to do before you click backup. So let's click backup, and then it quickly goes through and backs up your transmitter. Uh, this backup will take longer depending on how many files you have selected to back up. So now let's go back up to the top. Let's go to Tools, Transmitter Wizard. And now we're going to look at uh, View Backups. Here it lets you see the backup file that we just backed up. And you can choose this backup file to see uh, the information that you typed into it or what you named it. And so let's close this. And let's go back to uh, Recover the Transmitter. Recover the Transmitter does exactly what it sounds like. It allows you to uh, recover the transmitter from your backup file. Um, and here you would choose which transmitter backup file you wanted and allow you to restore your transmitter to that backup file from that date. Next is synchronized log files. Now these are the log files within your Jetty transmitter from all your flights and you can choose individual uh, log files or individual months of log files that you want by clicking the checkbox or you can choose to backup all your log files and have them all restored on your um, Jetty Studio application. So it's pretty straight, straightforward. So we're going to check all and we're going to cl click on synchronize. And this will take a few moments as it uh, tries to synchronize all your log files from your transmitter. Depending on how many log files that you have um, on your transmitter, it will take longer or shorter to back up those log files to the uh, database inside your transmitter. Once you're done with the log file backup, they will all show up on the left-hand side of your window here inside the below the model selection uh, portion of the window in the Jetty Studio application. Okay, now that that log file sync is done, all of our log files are synced from the transmitter into the Jetty Studio application, and we'll have all the separate log files for all of our um, models that you have inside the Jetty Studio application. So now we're going to go back, we're going to go to Tools, and we're going to go to Transmitter Wizard, and we're going to check out um, the next one, which is Transmitter Update, uh, which allows you to, trans to update your transmitter firmware to the latest version of the uh, Jetty firmware for your transmitter. It will automatically go out to the, to the web and uh, find the right uh, firmware file for you, the latest firmware file for you. You can choose the uh, standard firmware file, which is the basic uh, standard firmware file for your transmitter. There's a description for you to read over here on the right hand side. Below that is the Lua firmware, which is the same firmware as the standard, but it adds the capability for you to install and use uh, Lua applications onto your Jetty transmitter. Uh, the Lua um, applications are very powerful and we'll go over that uh, here in a moment. So um, let's uh, click back because I don't want to update my transmitter and let's click on Lua App Manager. Now here's where it gets good. Uh, the Lua App Manager allows you to see all of the Lua applications that are available from the Jetty Studio app uh, to install onto your uh, Jetty Transmitter. Um, you can kind of think of it like an app store, but an app store for your transmitter. There are various different uh, 
Lua applications that are available from this Lua app manager that will install the uh, Lua apps for you onto your transmitter. Uh, before they had the Lua app manager, you would have to manually download the uh, Lua applications and uh, grab the correct version of the Lua app, which was a compiled version versus a non-compiled version, and then install it into the appropriate folders onto your SD card inside your Jetty. But now you don't have to do that. It's just like uh, an app store for your Jetty transmitter. You can look at all these different uh, apps that they have available from the Lua app manager, and you can uh, see the pictures they give you the description and read the description for each one of the Lua apps that they have available from this uh, Lua app manager. And let's go down here and let's uh, click on this time speaker. We're going to go ahead and choose that one um, from RC Timer. And then you can um, have different options here where you can check to show only installed um, apps that you have available on your transmitter now and it'll only show those Lua applications that you already have installed. Um, you can check the box that says show only compatible, which will show only the Lua apps that are compatible with your version of the Jetty transmitter. And you can show only updatable, the ones that you have available that need an update for your um, Jetty transmitter. And then it's, it's pretty simple. Um, it's an app store for your Lua apps. And then once you are uh, once you have selected the one that you want, you can come over here and you can click install and that will install the appropriate application and files onto your Jetty transmitter. And then you can click close and they're all in installed. You can also uninstall applications from the Lua app manager um, within the Jetty Studio app. So these are the features, the new features that they have available in the Jetty transmitter uh, wizard for your Jetty Studio application. Uh, transmitter backup, view backups, and most powerful of all, the Lua app manager. Um, so if you get a chance, check it out and download the Jetty Studio application.